Hey everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well uh, today. <laughs> All right, don't judge me, Homer. Um, if you didn't know uh, when I was growing up, I was into science, but I didn't really get it and I still don't. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I'm kind of like Homer here, um, but I do my best. I'm, I'm, I'm muddling my way through life, okay, with the help of you guys. Uh, and I really wanted to do like a kitchen foodie science playlist because there's so many things you can do in experiments with food. Um, so despite my lack of knowledge of science and chemicals or anything like that, the fact that I only really know two scientists, one being Dr. Sissons, who is my uh, science teacher at school, bit of a legend, look like Superman. The other one being Doc Brown from Back to the Future, who of course is not actually really a person, a real thing. I want to try and like learn and have a bit of a laugh, but we're gonna do a dangerous one to kick it off. And hopefully you guys like this as a playlist. Uh, sometimes it'll be me on my own. Sometimes I'll get a guest, maybe an expert, and other times maybe some more fun uh, kid-friendly ones like with Phoebe, who has a particular interest in science. But I wanted her out of the way today because this is a little bit dangerous. But to really get into that scientist zone, I need to dress like a scientist, right, mate? Uh, this is my bodged scientist Doc Brown kit. All right, doctor's outfit. I think it's just the coat thing. It's quite cheap, so maybe I didn't get the stethoscope too. Yeah, wig. Some marigold washing up gloves. And glasses, because I find that anyone that wears glasses, it instantly makes you 6% more intelligent. All right, let's put this stuff on. 100% polyester. All right, that's quality. Uh, also, you need a pen, don't you, whenever you're a scientist? Just, just because you carry pens. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I am instantly Doc Brown. 1.21 gigawatts. Biggest fear right now. I tend to get a lot of deliveries. This is a Friday today. I tend to get a lot of deliveries on a Friday. There is actually someone there. It was the plumber. Well, I got the wig off, but uh, answering the uh, door with the lab coat on was a little bit weird. All right. It's insanely hot in this thing. That's better, isn't it? Yes. Only annoying thing is now, like, I can't unlock my phone to do any Snapchats and stuff. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to make a sugar snake. Let's talk about it. So then, class, all joking aside, this is actually quite dangerous. Uh, the first thing we're going to need is a pot of sand. Many people have sent me a link to this experiment before, so it will get dangerous. This pot of sand will hopefully absorb or prevent the flames, you know, Spreading, okay? Scientific terms, spreading. And this is actual sand from my hometown. And if you're interested uh, on my behind the scenes channel, The Barrys, I actually showed you me collecting that. You know, if you, if you wanna really delve into that part of my life, you're, you're more than welcome to a separate channel. You're also gonna need some lighter fluid. Now this was 1.99. The minimum spend in the shop was five pounds. I never carry cash, so if you're gonna try and rob me, don't bother. Uh, I had to spend over five pounds, which I did because I also bought uh, um, a lighter thing, okay, and a tray, because I think it's important to, to sit this in a tray. That's what we're gonna do. Now where the food comes in, this uh, is some caster sugar, and also we need bicarbonate of soda. So the first thing we're gonna do is mix these together to become one, Spice Girls Experiment Styly. I got sent these scales for mini food, right, but they're also gonna help us right away. High tech stuff. Ooh. Yes. We need 10 grams of uh, bicarbonate of soda. I feel like in this playlist, I'm gonna be using uh, bicarbonate of soda quite a lot. It does some crazy things. And if you know of any experiments that uh, you think that I should uh, try, uh, let me know in the comments box down below, please. I have 40 grams of sugar, which is a surprisingly large amount. Just thought of a really bad uh, Doc Brown joke. What would Doc Brown say if he went on holiday to Scotland? Great Scotland. Sorry, it's the wig. All right, bottom of the spoon. We're just mingling this together. There we go. We're ready. Are you? <laughs> Seriously though, it might seem like we're having fun here, but this bit is actually quite dangerous. We have got ourselves uh, a lighter with a nice long reach, okay? We take the lighter fluid and we pretty much, from what I could see, 
give it a good old coating. It needs to sort of do a layer all along the top of the sand. Well, the video that someone sent me, the sand was one color. And then by the time they said add lighter fluid, it was pretty much like the whole sand was one color like this. So, you know, this is why it's like, don't try this at home sort of styley. I've no idea how hot this is gonna get. If the smoke alarm's gonna go off, I don't know. Um, what I do know is I've just done a little dribble on the side, which I'm gonna wipe off, because that's not cool. Just dab that off. Instantly wanted to dab then, we ain't doing that. That smells dangerous. We're now gonna take our combined sugar soda mixture and put it in the middle. And start to sort of pile it. Bringing out my inner sandcastle expertise right now. Because I think if the more central we can keep it, we might get it under a bit more control. But this smells a lot right now. So that's on there. Um, please don't do this unless you're supervised by an adult. And like me, you've got a fire blanket and a massive jug of water just to one side. We're gonna like this now, okay? I feel kind of like a weird hybrid between Doc from Back to the Future and Garth from Wayne's World right now. Um, the confusion of Garth, but the confidence of Doc. Oh my God. It's fizzing. I'm getting the lighter out of the way. Oh my God. It's doing it. That is some serious smoke right there. It does take a while on the video I saw to really get going. So in the meantime, I'm gonna open a window over there so my fire alarm doesn't go off. So weird. really warm it's nice I've kind of like got my own little fire going toast some marshmallows so the video I saw online it kind of like made one sort of big snake well I'm making like a little plant pot I quite like it I'm really worried that there's gonna be like soot on the ceiling oh what a feeling when the soot's on the ceiling Science. Obviously I don't know why this is happening. I want you guys to tell me down below why it is happening, okay? That's how we learn. I don't do any research, you guys can help me out. And I gotta keep this wig hair well away. <laughs> Every time I think the flame's reason off, it's not. I gotta let these completely stop. We survived, guys. It's a giant mix of like a log that's black uh, and gray with coral. You've got like really, I just try and, oh my gosh, it's still. I just saw, off. I'm sure, <laughs> my wig. <laughs> look, let me, let me bring you closer to it, look. Look at that. That's so weird. Wow. And obviously the ways that you do the pile, I'd imagine you could get like different angles and shapes on it. But I wanted to show you the way it was bending, which is why I turned it around a little bit. But look at that. Look at that for a Tinder profile. Hi, I'd like to meet someone. I'm quite lonely. You guys' eyes there, his nose. Oh, <laughs> that was actually the next thing I was going to do. And good thing is my ceiling didn't get dirty. I'll sit it back in there and with an old knife, Look! Oh my gosh, I wonder, is it gonna be hot? Look! Take away science. Wow. That is actually really, really cool. But look, it just, I can <laughs> put my finger in it like that. It's very soft and delicate. It's actually cooled down quite quickly. I don't really want to inhale this too much, but please only do this with extreme many, many adult supervision. I am a highly trained professional. Oh my God, look, it's just air in it. It's a sugary soda log. And I'm pretty impressed with our first attempt at kitchen science. 
Well, shiver me timbers. I feel like I should have done that voice through the whole of the video. Retrospectively thinking? No, I'm glad I didn't. Uh, this is looking awesome. So what a great start to the kitchen science playlist. Uh, if you have seen any cool experiments, uh, there's books that Phoebe's got that we could work our way through, uh, but leave a comment down below or send me a message on the myvirginkitchen.com contact form. Remember to subscribe for regular recipes and food fun. Uh, follow me on social media for loads of behind the scenes bits and bobs, including our channel, The Barrys. And uh, I'll see you again next time. Science. You know, it's just a new idea for a playlist, to be honest. So uh, if you don't like it, you can tell me. It's all good. I'm just mixing up the content at the moment. And with the studio, we're going to do loads of fun stuff too. So uh, it's all about like giving you guys some freshness. For the record, if you do try this under supervision, uh, your house will smell like a barbecue.